minutes, you get rain on next minute, the sun burning you up. Okay. I just came from Corinth, Mississippi. Now I'm headed over here to Starkville, Mississippi. Every time I go over here, the weather is like windy or something. I don't know. Confused. So, um, this video, y'all, I know y'all already see the day cab. I'm driving for somebody, I told y'all. My truck is parked, for those of you who don't know. And it's gonna continue to be parked until further notice. But right now I'm driving for somebody, but that's not what this video is about. I wanna talk to y'all about something else. I'm gonna ask y'all a question. I wanna ask you, is it the truck driver's fault or is it the company's fault? So to further elaborate, uh, I was offered a job one time, right? It, it wasn't long ago I was offered a job to drive my truck for a company it would have been local but the thing is they want an escrow and the amount of escrow they wanted I never heard such a thing okay so they wanted 5,000 escrow alright desperate, desperate times desperate measures I thought about it I said okay I'm going to go with it and all I had to do was say I want it uh, so I know some of y'all are like girl you're crazy and you know, hey, that's that's what it was at the time. And then, uh, so she was like, I can set you up for orientation when you want to come in for orientation. That's all, all I had to do was tell her ready to come. But y'all, the the escrow, how they was gonna do it? That was gonna take out five hundred dollars out of each paycheck every week. And um. That just, that just wasn't sitting well in my spirit. So, huh, I got to calculating some things. That right there just off top just wasn't right. But you know, I would have to pay that. That was not gonna let me use my, my own drive van trailer, okay? And then I would have had to pay like 170 something dollars a week for their trailer. And then on top of that, I would have to get my own insurance. Okay, they don't, they don't provide insurance of any kind. Like I'm talking about on the truck. Y'all know how when you lease on to a company, they provide insurance for you. Of course, you're going to pay for it, but it don't be a whole lot. I had to get my own insurance, which I found a decent insurance place. I'm like, okay, cool. We can, I can roll with that. But it was just that 500 every week, 5,000 escrow. I ain't like that too much. I said, this is a scam or something? I've never heard of such thing. Y'all let me know if y'all ever heard of a 5000 or more, $4,000, $3,000 escrow. Y'all let me know. What's the most you ever heard of a company requesting, you know, a high dollar amount for escrow? Then I got to beg you for it at the end of the, uh, like at the end of our uh, agreement or contract or whatever. No, I shouldn't have to beg you. Y'all to wait 45 days. What I'm waiting for? Y'all to wait to take it out? The rules, the rules, the rules. Wouldn't be such a big deal, y'all, if they would give it back to you. Some of these companies, they don't be trying to give you that money back. You really got to be on them. Or, or you got to be like, well, okay, they're asking for X amount of dollars. If they don't give it back, I won't be messed up about it. But $5,000? No, nah, we, we not. We can't do that. I can't do that. So, even in my desperate times, I gave it a thought. But I said, no, I can't do it. Oh, oh, that was paying. The gross would have been like five, six dollars a week. That's what they said. Now, so some of the, that right there might make some of y'all change our mind. But once I got to tick tacking and calculating, I still decided to pass. You know, and it was no proof. It was no guarantee. Had they guaranteed me something, I might have would have did it anyway. Maybe I would have did it anyway. Right? It'd have been on me. That's what I think. But what y'all think? Is it is it on the driver that they would allow that? Go for that? You know, accept that? Or is it the company fault for requesting all that money from you 
you know, let's say in case something happened, it's your truck. It's your truck in case something happened to what? The freight. You got insurance on it. What do you need this money for? Are you trying to save some money for me for my truck? What are y'all doing with this money? And y'all mind you, this this was in the times where things were still like it is now, like it's bad, you know. So no, we're not just gonna give you five thousand dollars. Five hundred or what? What? No, people. That's just my opinion though. Some of y'all, I've seen that truck, like, you know, somebody driving for that company since um, you know, since I've turned them down. And I'm like, man, I would love to talk to that driver right there. So, what you want to do, somebody else will do. They will. I don't know if it's going to be, you know, uh, the best decision for them, but they'll do it. So always somebody going to do something that you won't do. And that's with anything. Right now. Right now, I'm doing something other people didn't want to do. There's a lot of drivers was at this particular company I'm in now. They all quit. They just kept quitting. So, I'm here. And it kind of worked for me. Weirdly, at first it was like uncomfortable. I didn't really know what to expect. That's the reason why I ain't talking to y'all about it. Still don't really want to talk about it because, you know, I just want to keep some things to myself this go around. I'm not saying that either because I'm driving for a company. I don't care about that, you know. If I got a job, money coming in, I'm good. And but besides besides that, I got some other things going on. And that's not what this video is about. We're talking about this escrow. And I seen that in my notebook. I had wrote it down, and I'm like, man, I wonder. I wonder what would have happened. <laughs> I wonder. That was local too. It was a local uh, job. So it was right up my alley and everything. But she was throwing me off. She kept throwing me off. You got to pay for the trailer. You got to rent the trailer. I got my own trailer, man. I don't need your trailer. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That sounded like a whole bunch of nickel and diamond to me. I decided against it. I think I made the right decision. I think I did. I don't know. Y'all let me know. What y'all would have done? Let me know. I need to know what y'all think about this escrow situation been a thing for a long time people that talked about it for a long time but that one right there was it just kind of blew me out the water never heard of it anyway i'm gonna get on down here to starkville mississippi and i got some more drop offs for the day we'll talk about this job on another day i'm gonna get y'all in the next video let me know your thoughts in the comment section below